We're here again in the west region of Cameroon, a natural haven reputed for its picturesque mountainous landscape, which gives rise to rivers, lakes and falls such as the Nkam River, Lake Monoon, Mbam River, Major Falls and the most celebrated Bangua Falls located just northeast of Bafusam, the capital city. In our previous episode of Travel with Dr. Hours touring the west region of Cameroon, we had a rough ride, tough trekking expeditions, fascinating sighting adventure and we last came face to face with the stunning waterfall of Mami Water and her surrounding rich forest vegetation. I could pretty much help with touring that sacred forest but with those snakes right there, nah, I'd rather do the talking. In this episode, our team comes to experience nature beneath the revered black lava and mating Mount Bobbit in the Fumbot village. Here in the West, there's much adventure and discovery and we would like for nothing more than to share our amazing experience with you. This is Travelling with Dr. Hour and we are touring the West region of Cameroon with you. Because of how narrow the road is, at some point we even have to move on foot. Nothing screams down to earth than the people in this part of the Fumbot village. They are heartwarming, cheerful and love to see tourists. We are going to take the motorcycles because it's not easy at all to go up there with the car. Either we go on foot or we can take the motorcycle. So that is to help us also to arrive soon. It's quite a tough ride to Mount Bapet. The only option we have to arrive to the destination is to board local bikes. And that would take some good 20 to 25 minutes. The road and the environment leading to this destination is tragically so rough and deserted it's like a wilderness bonding with a bush. With such a crooked, hard and tedious long distance ride, we hope there are no more huddles. So as you can see, that is the foot of Mambapi. And if you can have a look over here, yes, uh, we are then going to climb up and chiefly the crater on the top of the Mount Bapi. Climbing this colossus will require 120 steps up to the top of Mount Mbapit, but getting through the process is a whole excitement. The locals say that this mount is the most beautiful touristic site in the area and frankly we agree to that. The view is indescribably incredible and the weather is so bright, fresh and cool. You can feel the rigid yet soft texture of the volcanic rocks at the foot of the mount just like ingenious and sedimentary rocks in medieval times. Once you're at the summit, the view you experience takes a whole new level. Our tour guide gives a lecture on the history of Fumbot and Mount Babbitt. As our drone surveys the mouth-watering view, panning all the corners of the lofty surrounding vegetation and forest. The feeling out here is simply amazing. This is a crater lake right inside the western part of Cameroon. Very beautiful, the water actually looks green, not blue. That is to show us how amazing it is. I'm loving it here. The weather is so cold, or it's cold and it's windy and very fresh. Quite frankly, this is just a place to visit once you're in Funbot of the West Region. That sums up this episode of touring the West Region of Cameroon. From the start to the end of this adventure, Mount Bapit has given us a good experience. Having to trek, climb, view and then get lectures on the summit have all proven rewarding. 
in our next episode, we will take you on a tour to the very residence of the water god of the Bamileke tribe, La Chute de Meche. Did I say that right? Oh, I guess I did. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for touring with us in this episode. And until next, it's been Travel with Dr. Awa, and we are touring the West Region of Cameroon with you.